Hi, today I will show you how to create shipping estimation block on the product details page and how to create shipping estimation tab where your customers will be able to see all the available shipping methods for this product. I will show you how to do this with the shipping estimate added by SimTech development. Let's begin in the administration panel. First of all, I will install the shipping estimate added by SimTech development. When you have purchased an add-in by Simtech development, it appears in the file area of your account. Let's find the shipping estimate. The first three digits of the version of the archive mean the minimum version of your sales card store. My sales card store is 452 multi vendor, so I download the archive 4502. I click download. Once I have downloaded this archive, I click plus, select a local file, I upload it and install. This is how the product details page looked like before installation of this add-on. Let's click F5 and see what has changed. The shipping estimation has appeared here. You can extend it and add a shipping estimation button here in the description or probably add a shipping estimation tab if you have got several different shipping estimation methods. Let's see both cases. First, we'll create a button here. I go to the design, layouts, I choose products page, and I add a new grid. Actually, I have already created one. I simply add a block. Create new block, shipping estimate. Let's create it. A new block has been created. Let's get back and refresh the page. Now you have got a button that allows your customer to calculate the shipping. Here it is. If you have got a long description or probably lots of different shipping methods, it might be more convenient for you to use a special tab for the shipping methods. Let's do it. Let's get back, delete the block for the description. All right. And now I go to Design, Product Tabs. Let's create the Shipping Estimate tab. I click plus, I click Shipping Estimation and I select a block. The same one as we have selected previously, Shipping Estimate. Let's give it a name, Shipping Estimate and click Create. The changes have been saved. Let's open the storefront and see the changes. Click F5. The Shipping Estimation tab has appeared here. When a customer clicks here, they can see the Shipping Estimation. You can also use this tab as a pop-up. It's a very easy thing to do. Simply click this checkbox, show this tab in a pop-up window, save it. And now you have got a pop-up. Let's click Shipping Estimation. Great. You can create the shipping estimation without a button here. It is configured in the settings of the add-on. Let's get back to the settings. I disable this tick and I also go to add-ons manage add-ons, shipping estimate and I activate this checkbox, calculate shipping automatically. It means that there is no need to click any button anymore. The shipping will be calculated once the customer opens the page. Let's refresh. When I click Shipping Estimation now, there is no button. The shipping is already estimated. Thank you for watching this video and in the next one I will show you how to enable shipping estimation for the not registered users. See you in the next videos and goodbye. Subscribe to our channel.